Ojo, Biden breaks royal protocol during first ever visit with Queen. U.S. President Joe Biden appeared to breach royal protocol during his first meeting with the Queen. Royal protocol usually dictates members of the royal family should be the last to arrive at an event and the first to leave. However, Mr. Biden and the U.S. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden arrived at yesterday's reception a few minutes after the Queen. An expert warned everyone should arrive before the royals at ceremonial events and nobody should leave before them at the end. It marks a blooper for the gaffe-prone president during his first royal meeting since entering the White House. As reported by the Daily Mail, British professional coaching company Debreds states, it is correct for everyone to arrive before the royal personage and protocol rules that no guest should leave an event before a member of the royal family. The Queen does not follow this rule on wedding days when she allows the bride to arrive just after her. She also ditched protocol to honor Winston Churchill on the day of his funeral, when she arrived at St. Paul's Cathedral, where the wartime prime minister's funeral took place, before his family and his coffin. The late arrival of Mr. Biden's 18-car convoy did not appear to damp the Queen's enthusiasm who was all smiles as she spoke to Mr. and Dr. Biden. This is not the first time a U.S. presidential couple breached royal protocol during a visit to the U.K. In 2009, during her first trip across the pond as U.S. First Lady, Michelle Obama famously put an arm around the Queen. But the monarch did not seem bothered by this natural gesture and, disregarding the royal convention, also wrapped her arm around Mrs. Obama's waist. Mrs. Obama later recalled she continued to be nervous about breaking royal protocol even during her following visits to the Queen. But, as she revealed two years later, the monarch told her not to worry about it. During a speaking engagement in London in 2018, Mrs. Obama said, So I had all this protocol buzzing in my head, and I was like don't trip down the stairs and don't touch anybody, whatever you do. And so the Queen says just get in, sit wherever and she's telling you one thing and you're remembering protocol and she says oh it's all rubbish, just get in. World leaders attending the G7 summit and a few senior members of the royal family were yesterday evening the guests of Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who hosted a reception at the Eden Project. The Queen was joined by Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. During the reception. Kate continued to show a keen understanding with Dr. Biden, whom she had first met hours earlier for a joint engagement at a school in Hale. The pair also penned a joint article, in which they spoke about the importance of childhood's education and a better understanding of the impact the early years have on the development of children. During the reception, the Queen appeared to be in a stellar condition as she cracked a joke during the traditional, albeit socially distanced, family photograph. Joining world leaders including Mr. Johnson, Mr. Biden and Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, the Queen said as photographers snapped away, are you supposed to be looking as if you're enjoying yourself? Mr. Biden is the 13th serving U.S. president the Queen has met during her record-breaking reign. During a White House press conference held ahead of Mr. Biden's meeting with the Queen, his press secretary Jen Psaki said the U.S. president was excited to meet with the monarch. She said, who among us wouldn't want to meet the Queen? They issued, of course, a graceful invitation, which he certainly accepted. He's looking forward to seeing her with Dr. Biden as well. The Bidens and Her Majesty will be reunited once again tomorrow, as the Queen invited the presidential couple for tea at Windsor Castle.